my YouTube fam. Your boy Bruce back with another video. This one is exciting for me. It's kind of been a long time coming. We know, we know, we know on our B6s, our B7s, our B8s, our B8.5s, our B9s, our 3030s, Audi and Volkswagen just totally forgot about the rear calipers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your calipers to look like an RDR8, a RDRA, a Lamborghini Huracan, all of the like up-to-date vehicles. Um, I have a kit and I'm going to leave the description of the kit that I have. It's from Bosch Mods and I think it's amazing. So I'm, a, I'm just going to give you a walkthrough of the kit um, now. And then once I install it, I'm going to give you um, an actual um, look of it, how it looks on the car. I might just do a, a complete um, exterior mod when I do that. But I just want to kind of just um, break it down a little bit. So first things first. So if you notice right here, I have a really, really big rear rotor. Now it's black now, but um, once I um, actually break the brakes in, this part is gonna be, you know, that traditional polished look. This is actually from a, um, a 2016 Audi um, S8. Um, and I got these from a, um, a really, really good sponsor deal and a really good um, partner. So if you guys are interested in rear rotors, you know, let me know. I mean, these are dirt cheap compared to a lot of them. Um, and you don't use too much braking powers on your rear. You know, honestly, this is all for aesthetics for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm starting to work with a lot of people. They really want to market their stuff out there, you know, and um, hey, you know, this is a platform for it and then so be it. So let me just kind of walk you through. So first things first, you have your rear caliper. So you may notice this caliper as being a familiar caliper. This is actually a caliper from um, a Porsche Cayenne or a Volkswagen Touareg. This is the traditional ones that they have on, I believe, up until year 16, because in um, year 17, I believe they started putting the electric ones that I'm actually trying to get rid of on there. Um, on the Macans and all of the new Porsches. So they're starting to just go all electric. So this is where that caliper is from. And the reason why I'm telling you this, a lot of times people like to source calipers from eBay. You can source the caliper and you're gonna understand what I'm saying in a minute. So this right here is an electric caliper from a Tesla. So I know you're like, how can we fit an electric caliper from a Tesla on our car? Well, this company called Bosch Mods actually created an adapter so your electric rear calipers that you have can convert into the tesla caliper which i think is amazing so that way you'll be able to utilize this and function it with your um rear electric caliper that you have already and so you're going to have this one plus this one so this is just an extra bonus and the extra perk so um that's what this is this is a rear tesla caliper so as you can see i have two and then right here, you pretty much have the bracket. This is the bracket that enables you to put both the Tesla um, caliper, the electric caliper, as well as the um, Brembo, you know, um, rear brake um, caliper on the back on both of them. So this will enable me to do that. And this is just gonna be your traditional caliper bracket to where you just can fit the calipers, you know, these calipers on there. Like if you ever win big brake kits, you know what I'm talking about. It comes with, it comes with um, some stainless steel brake lines, which I think is amazing. You know, that's the company right there, Boss Mods. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much what we're looking like. Um, calipers are, brand new pistons powder coated i think this is like a fluorescent yellow so i'm gonna um get that i think it's gonna look good on my car as you can see i already kind of have like a little pieces of fluorescent yellow on my car right now so yeah and just to let you guys know this right here 
is actually a 355 millimeter rear rotor. I know it's massive, probably bigger than the factory rotors on A5s are like 335. So, um, but as you see over here on this caliper that I have on the car, it is a three. That's how I, just to kind of give you an idea of how a 355 looks. But I'm actually going to change the color to that caliper as well um, on on the car to to match with that fluorescent yellow. I thought I was close enough, but I guess not. So yeah, um, let me show you. I'm gonna show you guys how it looked on the rotor. Just so you guys, this is how it's gonna look on the car. I think that's pretty sick. So you guys kind of have an idea. So I'm gonna have that caliper right here where the old one goes and. Have that Tesla caliper. The Tesla caliper may go a little bit lower, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of how it's going to actually look on the car. And if you want to see how my old ones look, as you can see, this is my old ones. So that's going to be those are like 320 or something like that. So as you can see, it's a really, really, really going to be a real big difference when you just kind of look at those and look at those. So yeah, that's gonna be the new upgrade guys. Thanks. Stay tuned, keep the, keep watching the video. It's gonna have a lot of fun stuff. I'm gonna give you guys uh, a video once I'm done with it too. create a bracket and you can just kind of run whatever calipers you want because it looks like he kind of made the template welded some you know some taps to where you can screw it on and it's genius the way he did it he made these you know I don't have patience for this kind of machining but yeah I mean it's just to kind of give give you guys an open idea of what it would take to do something like this I mean, heck, I could have just ran and tested the calipers if I wanted to. The car would still stop. It's no different than the other ones that I have. And yeah, this, you know, like I said, it's, it's definitely is gonna help my performance as far as stopping. But I already have the big brake hitting the front. So this ideal is just, you know, more for aesthetics, but it also come in, you know, handy if I need to stop real fast too. So yeah, so that's, the, that's it guys. Uh, give you guys a follow up video once I'm done.